The coronavirus thrives in mega cities of 20 million people. I'm talking about Wuhan, New York City, and Tehran metropolitan areas. Wuhan has 19 million people. New York City has 23 million people, as does Tehran. The SARS virus also emerged from the most densely populated province of China, which has Guangzhou, a city of 46 million people. What's the connection between the coronavirus and megacities? The coronavirus stays alive by multiplying and spreading from people who are in close proximity of each other. When I'm in a megacity, I get the feeling that there is something very out of balance with nature. When the coronavirus is in a megacity, it discovers a right place to spread sickness. The dense, fast-paced life of a megacity is the optimal place for the coronavirus to spread. It's about both population size and density. New York City is the most crowded city in the US, with 28,000 residents per square mile. Density matters with viruses because it's harder to stay more than six feet away from people when there's 28,000 people in one square mile and hundreds of people in a subway car. The main population growth in the world today is among religious people based on the belief that God wants us to continue expanding the human population without limit. In the first chapter of Genesis, God blesses the first two people to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. We are now approaching 8 billion people, most of whom live in cities. At what point can religious people say, we have filled the earth and we don't need to further increase population? First of all, according to Jewish law, this commandment is fulfilled by having one boy and one girl. Second, Exodus chapter 1 verse 7 states, quote, And the Israelites were fertile and prolific. They multiplied and increased very greatly, so that the land was filled with them. The Bible uses the same language in the first chapter of Exodus as it did in the first chapter of Genesis. Yet Exodus says that the land was filled with the people. According to archaeologists, ancient Egypt at that time had 3 million people in total, and the Israelites were a fraction of that. So the Bible itself says the land of Egypt was full with about 1 million people, while today Egypt has 100 million people. When my grandfather was born around 1900, there were about 1.5 billion people in the world. When my father was born in 1940, there were 2.5 billion people. When I was born in 1980, there were 4.5 billion. When my son was born in 2010, there were about 7 billion. When my son is as old as I am now, there will likely be 9 billion people. And when my son is as old as his grandfather is now, there will likely be 11 billion people. So let me leave you with this. What type of world do we want to leave our children? One with thousands of megacities that are ripe for viruses, or a sustainable, spiritually aware Earth where the next generation can not only survive, but thrive.